So this is part two of Lafayette Square. I'm starting out with one of my favorite houses here. It's called a flounder house. If you look at it closely, you're gonna see that it is very flat on one side and bumped out on the other. And the person who originally built this house waited until the new owner to finish it because of course, as we know, you don't pay taxes on a house till it's completed. So it makes sense not to do that. And St. Louis, Missouri and Chambersburg, Virginia are the places with the most flounder houses in town. You can see the red brick house next to it. I don't know if you can see the coal soot that is on the bricks. That ages homes in St. Louis because we burn that soft bituminous coal instead of the hard anthracite coal that you see out east because they had more access to it. And you can also see the attached homes here and those are also new made to look old look at that brick you tell it's perfect it doesn't need any tuck point big difference between the old house there for sure then as we spin around the street you're going to see into the park Lafayette Square Park at one time had a group of Union soldiers practicing and marching because this neighborhood favored the side of the Union. They also had an event here where 8,000 people came in because there was a train stop at Lafayette Square. As you look at the wrought iron fence, you'll see that the symbol is the symbol of Lafayette Square. So when you drive through the neighborhood, you'll see a plaque like this on homes that are original Lafayette Square homes. There is a pool house that is in the back and that has been lovingly restored by the residents here through the Lafayette Square Conservancy. You can see the beautiful trees, all of the flora here is amazing. Some of the trees, of course, date back to the 1800s when this neighborhood started. And you can see the sidewalk around the edge and all of these beautiful painted ladies, as they call them, the Victorian homes. You can see the one with the blue roof. That's what's called a mansard roof. So the one to the right and the left of it are all mansard roofs. That was a French architect's design. His name was Mansard. And he invented that to give more space. You're using the roof for space in your home. As you look to the left of it, you're going to see a turret. So a home with a turret is a Queen Anne Victorian style home. So all Queen Anne's are Victorian, but not all Victorians are Queen Anne. 